We suffer more in imagination than in reality. That's unfortunately one of my favorite quotes because I relate so much to it. Whenever I've had to face something that makes me uncomfortable, maybe I'm facing a risk or doing something that I had never done before, that more often than not seems to be where I go to. I, I think the worst case scenario. And what I found out is that it's my brain trying to protect me because it doesn't see the difference between facing a saber-toothed tiger with, I don't know, trying to say hi to a girl that I like. And I feel like it has stunted my growth going through life like that because especially in my teens and early 20s, uh, I was very risk averse. And whenever I found myself in a situation like that, I wanted to get out of it rather than face it. And it's not like I didn't face fears, but I could have done much more. And while other people were out there and trying to find themselves and figure out things for themselves, I was trying to find the easiest way and maybe that next video is gonna be that solution rather than actually going through those things that scared me. And unfortunately, now that I'm a little bit older, uh, I'm trying to catch up with those experiences and I feel like most of my growth has been in this, in these past three years or so that I've been going, pressing on the gas and trying to catch up. And a big part of confidence I find also comes from taking those risks because Every single time that I had to do something that that scared me, that made me uncomfortable, when I faced it, on the other side, I felt so good about it. I felt so good about myself. I felt like 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 I'm brave, and all these positive feelings uh, were going on. And the same happens the other way around. Whenever I had to face something and I didn't. I felt so so bad about myself. I felt less confident. And lately especially, now that I've been having more experiences, I feel like my confidence has been growing more and more. And uh, every time that I have to face something that scares me, now I have more references to look back like there's so many things now at this point that that I've done that that are so much scarier than other things that I have to face and when you compare them I found that it helps me to snap myself out of it uh, I've done things like I literally modeled for art classes I did fear modeling where you actually have to call the pose and actually be naked and people draw you. And I did that to face those fears. And that's something that most people will not do. And now when I'm doing something that, that makes me uncomfortable, now I can look back at situations like that and be like, I went through that and I made it through and I was okay. And time and time again, I've realized that that quote is so true. Like every single time that I thought the worst case scenario, that didn't happen. Even if maybe I was going to do a presentation and I was scared and I thought, maybe I'm gonna forget about the things that I'm gonna say. Maybe I'm gonna stumble with my words. Maybe they're just gonna laugh at me. None of those things happen. And we, when we were laughing, it was because I made a super funny joke and I was being genuinely myself and people were feeling my energy. And after that, I, I felt amazing. I was like, damn, like I never thought that I could actually manage a crowd so well. And I remember one time, one of the last speeches that I had to do in college, 
this girl sitting down next to me after I did my presentation, she was like, you're so good at it. How are you so good? I was like, I felt so good about that, about that comment itself because I had never seen myself as somebody like super brave or anything. And, and her saying those things, like that, that was like a, like a, like a mind opener, if, if that's a term. Um, and for instance, very recently I went on a date and it's not like I've been on too many dates in my life. So uh, I'm still pretty inexperienced with that. So not only was the date itself something that I was like, oh, something that I'm, that I'm not used to, but it was an hour away. The rain was crazy. There was a storm going on. And when I had to be there in the club, uh, we were going to learn how to dance. And I, I don't know how to dance. So the day that, that it happened, my mind was immediately thinking of the worst case scenario. I could crash. There's a storm. Maybe I should just like cancel. Maybe when I get there, the girl won't like me and all these things. And uh, I've noticed after the, the more experience that I, experiences that I've had that I've uh, been facing those fears and I've overcome, the more that the, the bold, confident voice inside me has become louder and the, the, the cowardly voice has become more silent. And that time I, I the first the, the cowardly voice was like, no, no, let, let, let's get out of it, blah, blah, blah. And that brave voice, it was like there were like two entities inside me. It, it shut it down. It was like, no, we're going through it. We're facing it. And you'll see that it's, everything's going to be okay. And, and he shut it down and I was like, you know what, that's true. Every single time that I thought the worst was going to happen, it didn't happen. I got in the car, I drove there, I had an amazing time. The girl liked me a lot. I was not, not used to that kind of attention. She introduced me to her friends, her friends loved me too. I met some new people in there. Uh, I wasn't as bad as I thought I was going to be in the dancing. And it was an awesome experience. And now that's another reference in the future when I'm facing another fear. I'll, I'll remember that day and be like, you see, I went through it and it was all okay. Uh, and something that uh, has been working a lot for me is to, um, when, when I'm in those situations, I tell myself, everything's gonna be okay. I'm accepting this situation as it is and whatever happens, happens. And I just let go of the resistance of, of like, like oh, going, going with the brake, as if I was driving a car instead of going with the brake. I just go with the, uh, I press the gas and go through it. And I tell myself, on the other side, you realize everything's gonna be okay. And that's what I told myself that day uh, of the date, and and everything was okay. And everything was much better than I thought. So, um, please don't. Don't feed that that voice that tries to sabotage you and try to to look at things objectively. So as I'm going through my journey, I'm going to try to keep on facing those fears and try to become more confident because we only have one life and I don't have more time to, to waste being scared of, of things and, and not, not living life like it's supposed to be. So I hope this motivates some people to just go out there and face their fears and realize, realize that nothing is as bad as it seems. Everything will be okay. Thank you.